Today we're going to talk about swamp coolers. Air conditioner units are getting more expensive and more expensive. Some of them are made in China. What happens if the Chinese do not import any more air conditioners to America? And they get too high and Americans just cannot afford air conditioners. Or you live in the West, you live out in the desert West, and swamp coolers work for you. So we're going to be talking about changing the pads on a swamp cooler. I know it's hard to believe, but that's, that was the old pads, the old style. They worked, but we're going to go with a more effective, a more efficient pad. So th those are the old pads. Let's go take a look at the new pads. So here's a, a pretty good size swamp cooler. It cools down about 800 square foot, maybe seven to 900 square foot. Somebody put two small pads on there. Those old pads came out of this unit and somebody jerry-rigged it temporarily with a smaller pad. So um, I'm gonna show you how to put the new pads in this type of unit. So here's a close up. This is the uh, panel that was missing, as you can see right here. The pads were just too small. Maybe they only had 24 by 30. They put it in there temporarily to make it work temporarily, but now we're going to make put the right pads in there. Now the right pad would be about 27 by 30. But they don't have a 27 by 30, so we're going to make this one work, 29 by 30. We're going to use this Dora Cool pad. Now Dora Cool says it's 10% cooler than paper, 6% cooler than the hand-packed aspen. So there's what Dora Cool says, up to 25% more efficient than paper pads. The old, um, now at the end of the video we're going to go to a smaller unit where they do have the paper pads. I want to put these these old ones, this, it's not really old, it's new, but Used. We're going to put these in a smaller unit that has paper pads. So stay with us as we do this. Now all you have to do here is pull these down. You pull these down on both sides to pull this out. Okay, so when you, you pull down here, pull down here, this comes out, this pulls out, and then of course it'll slip out here real easy. So you see it? I pulled it out of there. This one came out of here. Now you just put this one off, pick it up, and it pulls right out. There you have it. So as we said, this one's too small. We're going to put this in a smaller unit. We have a spot. We have another swamp cooler for those two. So now we're going to put this bigger one in here. Okay, so you see I slipped it in place, you start at the top, you start at the top, you push it in there, you go all the way down to the right and just push it in, push it in, push it in, that's all you have to do. See that? Push it in as far as it'll go, squeeze it. Now you notice I told you this one was a little big here. See it's a little big? Now some people might want to cut that, and I thought about cutting it, but I tell you what, I come up with a better idea. You see, this thing pushes it in. The metal frame pushes it in. So I'm just going to bend it a little bit. Bend it like this. See how I bend it a little bit? Push it in there. Make sure that's in the top part. I'm just going to crimp it and bend it. Now, believe it or not, by crimping it and bend it, it's going to give you more area for water. This is going to this is going to be like a sponge here. This is actually going to be better. So I believe better than cutting it. Let's go ahead and leave the whole thing in there. Cringe it up. Force it in there. Now you're going to have a little bubble there. See, so you're going to have a little bubble as we go down. Now, normally. On some units this won't work, but as long as you have a metal frame, a really strong metal bracket that will push it in there, this will leave for more water retention. This little 
thicker area on the left, like a sponge, will just hold more water, be more efficient. So I don't believe there's any way, there's no reason to cut it. And I'll show you what it looks like when I put the frame on. Okay, anyhow, how do you start? Only the way you start is you put the bottom in first. On the frame, you put the bottom in first, which is very simple. Push it down as far as it'll go. You see, you see how this unit will push the, the thick part down? And then on the top, all you do is push these down and push this forward by pushing this down with one hand and bending it. See how you bend it? All you do is bend it and you slip right in the top. There it is, it's all done. Oh, actually, I missed this, I missed one here. You see how you bend this, bend it. It's hard to do it with the camera. Let's see if I can do it with the camera. I don't think I'm gonna do it with able to hold the camera. Okay, well, I'll put the camera down and slip that back in there. So you notice uh, over here, that's under there, it's, that's under there, and all the ones on the bottom. So let me go ahead and slip that one right there, yeah, ready to put in the swamp cooler. As I can tell you, this bubble, this little bubble is not going to hurt anything. So no reason to cut it. Now let's go ahead and put it back in the unit. Okay, we're going to put it back in. You know this little ledge here? The little ledge goes on the bottom. That's how you, that's how you pick them up. When you want to take the unit out, all you do is put both hand, hands under here and pick, pick it up. So when you're putting them in, you slide this part in there first. Let's see if I can get a picture of it with the camera. See? Okay, you see how that slides in? You see, you slide that in first, and the bottom, and the bottom just slips right in. That was pretty easy to do, even one handed. So that's all set. Slide it in there first. Make sure it's make sure it sits on the bottom there. Push push your ledge down. And these two are new. This is a big. Now we're going to go to the smaller unit and change the uh, pads out of the smaller unit, which is pa they have paper pads. Okay, we're inside to the smaller unit. The reason why we have this little smaller unit in here is a little extra. The bigger unit just cannot cool this. Uh, thousand square foot down enough so we went ahead and put a smaller unit in it so when you work when you're using this smaller unit plus the bigger unit it actually makes it quite good cools it down a little better so here's the smaller unit I made a mistake it does not have paper pads it has the old straw pads but we're gonna show you how to change the uh, this like I said it's a smaller unit this comes into the house and then you go outside this is like a patio area, and here's where the pads are on the outside. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to change. See how I slipped that out of there? As I said before, you just pick up the bottom, pick it up, and it pulls right out. Now on this one, on this unit, it only has one door, as you can see. So it has one door, and then it's got three pads. One on this left side, one on the right side, but those doors don't open. So if you have a unit like this, it'll be, it's still, it's still very easy to change these. We're going to show you how. So we're going to take this outside and um, change this one first, and then we'll have to come back in to change these two on the side. Okay, one thing I did not mention in the last, when I did the bigger units, is you always make sure your little trough you see the little trough right there? This is the trough where the water, the pump, pumps the water in here. This is on the top. So your little trough here is all, always on the top. The reason why I didn't mention it before is because is if you always put your lip, if you always put your ledge on the bottom, it's uh, it's dummy proof, idiot proof, you might say. So as long as your ledge is on the bottom, your trough, your trough is going to be on the top. So it's kind of hard to it's hard to screw up, but there's a reason, right? You see that dust? See all the dust? You might not be able to see it. There's a lot of dust in the uh, straw. 
I also believe that these may be a little bit healthier. These new pads may be a little healthier than the straw pads. I'm not sure about the paper pads, which one's healthier. But they say DoraCool is more efficient. So here we go. Now we're going to take this out of here. These metal clamps will work a little different. Here you have to pull this, you have to pull it like this. Pull this side. Pull that side. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah, it's hard to do it. Pull the camera. Okay, I can't do that one holding the camera. Same thing here. Push that up that point. And do that side. Push it up. Push that up. Okay, well, let me put the camera down to get this side. See how that works. Just pull this out. Pull that out. Okay, we got that side. Pull this one out. And we'll just pull that one out. See, so there you go. There's one clamp. Now we do the bottom one. Same thing. That clipped out pretty easy. And I'll do the rest with the, after I put the camera down. Again, just pull this one out. Pull this one out. Very right, easy. So we got the metal clamps out. Now we're going to pull out the old pull it out now these are kind of dusty i guess some people who are allergic to dust should wear a mask if you get, if you gently pull these are really not in that bad of shape i've seen a lot worse okay so we'll take these off like this is not really in that bad of shape i just want to go with a more efficient one We'll take it over there with the old pal, the old pal, and throw it, throw it in with the old pal. The old pal that came out of the bigger unit, and there's the one. See, there we go. So it's time to put the door cool pad into the panel. Make sure you shake this out first. Shake out all the old straw. All you do is, like I say, same thing. Slide it over to the right first. Slide it in there. Use your fingers, just push it in there. Now, as you can see, this one's a lot bigger than the design, so we're going to have to cut this one. We have to cut it right here. We're going to cut it along here, and then cut it along here. I think we'll, you know, cut it a little big. I don't, because remember, these are going to be able to pressure it in. So it's better to cut it a little big than too small. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, use this. There may be better ways of cutting it. I'm just going to use this thing to cut it. Cuts pretty easy. All right. So what happens is what you do is you hold this, hold this one, hold these two pieces with your hands, and use your right hand and just cut down. Hold these two pieces together. Use your knife and just cut it down. And like I say, you cut it when you have this side in. I already put this side in. Take it outside on your, wherever your outside working area is and just cut it, makes it simple. Now right here, you see, this is where it ends. So now we're just going to cut a little bigger. Just not, you don't want to go too big because it'd be hard to fit in back into the unit. Just gonna cut right down here. Very simple. So we just cut it, get the finishing cut, Very simple, pretty easy to cut too, pretty easy to cut, any sharp knife or scissors, there you go. Now we just push those back in. Yeah. Remember, it's okay to be a little big. Now we're just going to put the uh, the metal clamps back in there to push it down. So you you put the top in first. Put the top in. Once you slide the top in, 
and all you do is pull this. Pull it. And yeah, it fits right in there. Same thing with the bottoms. Put those in. You can actually do it opposite way. You put the bottom in first. Put the top in next. It doesn't really matter. See how it goes. It just clamps right in there. Put the bottom in first. Or the top. Put the top in. And just push the bottom in. Okay, so we're back inside. We've got the new pad in the front door. Now all we have to do is change the pads on the, the side. These are going to be a little bit more difficult to reach. These have to be pushed down. And you have to go over on the other side there. You have to reach in and pull that down. And then when you do that, these will pop up easy. Same thing down here. Pull that down. Pull that down. That's pretty easy. So once once that one comes out, then the top will come out easy. It's supposed to come out easy. There we go. You don't have to jiggle it. You don't have to jiggle it. But there you have it. That, the, bottom, the bottom one is going to be easier than the top. Mainly because the brackets, you have to reach over there. So let's go ahead and take all these out of here. Now the first one's the bitch. First one. Once that's out, and that pops out. There you go. So then once the brackets are off, you just push this in and gently drag it out of there without making too much of a mess. So now all we're going to do is go outside and cut this size swamp pad, swamp puller pad, cut it exactly this size and throw it back in there. That's simple. So I'm not going to show you me cutting this thing because I've already showed you how easy this is to cut. If you take this outside so you don't mess, you don't make a mess inside with the straw. Cut this one, the same size as this, maybe a hair bigger, and there you have it. You put it back in, and this will be this swamp cooler will be a lot more efficient. I've also made videos on how to change out the pumps and do a lot more. So check out my other videos on swamp coolers if you want to know how to change the fan, how to change these. I've made quite a few videos on swamp coolers. So thanks for watching and good luck. Actually I guess I should include this because you know some people don't realize you know template. Just put your old one on top of the put your old one on the new one. Use it as a template. As you can see I've already cut there. Cut all the way down there. Cut all the way down there. How simple can it be? Yeah, use the old, use the old one for a template. Um, and again, thanks for watching.